What's up, Mitten Squad? My name is Paul. Welcome to another MacBook Air gaming test. This is going to be Skyrim running on the MacBook Air. Going to about this Mac, I will show you the exact MacBook Air I am using. A 1.4 GHz Intel Core i5, 1.4 GHz, I think I said that twice, with 4 gigs of RAM, Intel HD Graphics 5000, uh, running OS X 10.9.3, I think there is an update I could get, but I haven't done that yet. This is the 13 inch, 128 gig model from early 2014, uh, more like spring 2014, I guess that's still early, depending on how you look at the year. So Skyrim is not, uh, has not officially been released on, on the Mac. I had to do some very difficult things, I had to do some sexual favors to some very lucky people in order to get this and I played it a little bit I got to a point where uh, we're not gonna have to wait too long to jump right into the gameplay so with all or with the last video I did you can expect a, uh, a minor slowdown thanks to the screen capture software we'll just hit continue um, haven't done any quests yet. I got right, right up to where the dragon comes. I created my character, and we'll just play it. Unfortunately, I don't have a mouse to play this with. Uh, with I have to use the trackpad. So here we are. Put this up on my lap instead of on my little stand. And here we go. It's running. Uh, there's not a good way to get a uh, frame rate counter. I knocked the mic there. Uh, on the top left or anywhere on the screen with the Dolphin emulator, uh, the GameCube games in my last video. There was one, but that was because that was built into the, uh, into the emulator. So real quick, let me just... I can't show you the, uh, the exact settings, but everything is set to the lowest possible. Uh, I'm trying to find... The... Subtitles. There we go. So now you can see what's going on if that matters to you. But you know the, the Skyrim story. Dragons come and they fuck shit up. So it's not super... It's not super smooth or anything like that. But it, this is a MacBook Air. It's not designed for gaming. If you want to do like super serious, like ultra gaming... On a portable device, you're pretty much going to want to either get an Alienware laptop or uh, the Razer Blade, the new ones. Those are ridiculous, but those are also absurdly expensive. Those start at roughly uh, 2100 United States dollars, so that's kind of a lot for a laptop. But if you want to do gaming, I suppose it's worth it. So off with his head. And we're gonna be next. You can see the horses and all their majestic beauty over there. Uh, nothing looks too fancy. It doesn't look, you know, even as good as it would on a console. But, you know, on low, it's not bad. It still looks better than Oblivion, so it's got that going for it. The smoke over there looks kind of pretty. Next prisoner, away we go. Walk this way. Walk this way. I shouldn't be singing. This isn't a let's play. This is no time for dilly-dallying. Uh, if I had to guess, I would say it's uh, running at maybe 45 frames per second. It's certainly at at least 30. It's not... Well, maybe it is. Maybe like 25. I don't know. I'm not good at guessing. There's the dragon, he looks kind of mean. Uh, you could probably get some mods, if uh, if there are MacBook Air mods, and maybe make this a little better, maybe a little smoother. Um, I believe the resolution is set to what it should be, but I don't know for sure. Alright, Waz to move, unbound. So, it is laggy, or not laggy, uh, choppy? But it's easily playable. The fans are really kicking up. Let's 
So now we just gotta head up here. So some people, if you've been spoiled by uh, playing, oh, hello, friend. If you've been spoiled by playing on a a super high, uh, high setting Mac, not Mac, uh, Windows PC. If you have a gaming PC, you're not gonna like this, obviously. But if you just if you're buying a MacBook Air for like college or something like uh, like I did, uh, and you want to do some gaming, you can. It's not bad. So there's the dragon. He's gonna breathe down there. Or he should. Uh, I'm gonna move the MacBook Air to the uh, to the mic, so maybe you can hear. Maybe you can hear how loud this is. Alright, so hopefully you could hear uh, how loud that is. It is it is rather loud. I wouldn't recommend playing this on a plane because you will probably annoy the person sitting next to you or maybe behind you. So I don't want to I don't want to spend too much time on this. I spent quite a while on the on the uh, Dolphin GameCube test. So I believe I have to make a choice up here. I choose to go with Rolf or the guy with the axe. Sword or axe? Well, well, you don't have facial hair, so I'm gonna have to go with uh, Lord Eddard Stark over here. To hell again, away we go. So that's probably the most intensive part of the game, aside from some other uh, battles with dragons or anything. I don't remember how far into the game you have to get to to um, to fight. Hopefully, he will uh, unbound my hands. Looks like we're the only ones who've made it. Yeah, no shit, we're the only ones here. So once he unbounds my hands, I can go grab a weapon. Do some fighting real quick, and that'll be it. Binding is off. Come on. All right, there we go. Press E to loot the bodies, and I'll just take those and equip them. There we are. So I can ready the weapon with R, obviously. He should open this fairly soon. Did I crouch or am I short? Alright, so I'm probably going to have to sh to attack them. And that's good because I don't want to spend too much time in this. Alright, Imperial Captain. Do some fighting. There we go, a little cinematic kill. And that's going to be pretty much it. Quick saving. I know there's a way to to see myself in third person. So it runs. It's not super smooth, but you should you shouldn't expect it to be. The MacBook Air it does get a little hot, but that's to be expected. Once I exit the game, I can show you uh, exactly how hot it gets. It's not gonna burn you. So overall, I would definitely say that if you have a MacBook Air. And you want to play, you want to play Skyrim. Um, you can. You might want to configure a controller to work with it. As you can see, top of the screen, 200 degrees. Uh, the fans are running at their maximum. Either put the MacBook Air on a stand so that the bottom, so that the vents can do their job, so that they can intake a lot of air. Don't play with it on your lap uh, unless you want to get hot, because if 
the fans aren't getting enough air, they're going to get hot, the bottom of the MacBook Air is going to get hot, if you keep them open, you're not going to have any issues. So it runs fine, if you want to, if you want to play Skyrim on a MacBook Air, go ahead. Um, this is the baseline 2014 model. Um, if you do get the 13, not th the 11 inch, it's going to be the, uh, the exact same experience, just a slightly smaller screen, and the, um, the battery is not as, uh, large. But, that's it. That's Skyrim on a MacBook Air. If you enjoyed the video, why am I opening this to show you? That's not something of your concern. That was quite strange. I don't know why I did that. Oh well. If you enjoyed the video, hit like. That helps me out. Leave a comment if you want to see any other games or emulators. My name is Paul of Mitten Squad. Have a wonderful day.